Not all of the old structures in this scenic area are temples. There are also a number of historic residences, including the Liu residence of Qi Jiao and Tang Yuan Hall of the Liu residence in Yue Mei Chi. Early residents settled here and brought their extended families together in traditional courtyard houses with wings on both sides. The residences were protected by multi-layer live bamboo fences. The upswept swallowtail roofs represent the importance of the main hall. Both of these ancient houses are carefully preserved offering visitors a chance to discover how people lived in early Taiwan. The name Ho Tan Jing means monkey probing well. Monkeys are said to have congregated here in the old days and the shape of the valley represents an ancient well. In front of the valley is a small peak that looks like a monkey probing the well. The exhibition hall here features displays of pictures related to astronomy and geology. Following the scenic gallery to the end of the garden, we come to a lookout pavilion in the shape of a fairy tale castle. The distant view of the Zhanghua Plains at dusk is especially enchanting as the setting sun lends a surreal quality to the scene. Qin Shui Yan, or Clear Water Temple, takes its name from the idea that dripping water clears the mind. Its two main tablets inscribed Clouds of Mercy Cover All, and Merciful Fairy of the South Seas, help to illustrate the long history of this traditional temple. The spring scene at Qin Shui is considered one of Zhanghua County's eight most beautiful sites. Beside the temple runs the 18 Turns Historic Trail, once used by porters carrying salt between Nanto and Zhanghua. The name of the trail comes from its serpentine route. The forest and other rich ecological resources along the trail are well preserved, making it a favorite of hikers looking for tranquility and a taste of the past. Beside Gushan Temple we find the Tianzhong Forest Park and Qingshui Qi Park where the scenery is much different from that along the 18 turns historic trail. Here, the exquisite deep green foliage, together with the chirping of birds and the sounds of insects, enfold you completely in the embrace of nature. The Songboling Recreation Area is located on the southernmost flanks of Mount Bagua. One of the top attractions here is the tea fields, where the special terrain combines with a moist climate and rich soil in what is now Taiwan's biggest tea producing area. The late President Jiang Jingguo once sampled the tea here and gave the local variety its name, Songbo Evergreen Tea. To the south of the recreation area is Arshui Township, famous for its special Luoxi stone. This stone is carved into delicately beautiful ink stones that have long been treasured by calligraphers. Song Boling's Deng Miao Trail is an important ecotourism pathway that runs 1.8 kilometers from Arishui to Shoutian Temple. The Formosan rock monkey is frequently seen along the trail, making this a perfect place for environmental education and ecotourism.
At the end of the trail stands the famous Shoutian Taoist Temple. Thanks to its location at the southernmost tip of the Mount Bagua tableland, the plaza in front of Shoutian Temple offers expansive views of the Western Plains and the Taiwan Straits. The visitor center beside the temple provides a complete range of information about the Mount Bagua scenic area. The Mount Bagua scenic area is a lot more than scenery. When you come here, don't miss the special snacks, fruits, and other specialties of the local area. Try the meatballs of Zhanghua, the lychees of Fenyuan, the rice vermicelli of Fengkeng, the candied fruits of Bai Guo Shan, the white pomelos of Arshui, and the mountain yams and pineapples of Mingjian. This cornucopia of delicacies is guaranteed to make your visit deliciously worthwhile. A tour through the varied attractions of Mount Bagua is like a travelogue of native Taiwan. Slow down, savor the scenic area slowly, and when you leave, in addition to your photographs, you will carry away a treasury of precious memories as well.